is track fam. I, I saw this number and at first I didn't know what it was because it was shocking. I did not know that, but that is an interesting fact. You put it into perspective when you think about how many students graduate per term, you know? It's like, in 90 years though? Art Center's been around for 90 years. That was kind of, you know, I guess that was more of a bigger shock. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't, you know, totally surprised. <laughs> I thought it was much less. Honestly, <laughs> there's billions of people in the world, like thousands and billions of people in one country that are able to get to this place. And 90 years to have only 300 black people is really small, really, really small. If the United States is 12 percent by African American people, right, and it's only one percent of of, uh, of the total, like I guess, student body that have come through the school, that's not really the correct balance of numbers. Growing up, I knew very little about art other than, you know, to be an artist, you had to die and maybe your paintings made money. That's about the extent of what I knew. I never had the idea that I was an artist. I liked to draw and I knew that kind of thing, but I never thought about being an artist because I didn't know any artists. I was not very familiar with art when I decided to become a photographer. And then I considered that to be art. Like I was just like drawing random stuff in my sketchbook. Like I didn't realize it could be like a full career outside of like animation and cartoons and stuff. I didn't know what graphic design was. I was just fortunate that I, you know, ran into an instructor at a JC that said, you know, you got some talent. You know, if you really want to pursue this, you know, you should look at Art Center. I go, what the hell is Art Center? We grew up out here in Pasadena. My mom was like, oh, there's an art school up there. It's supposed to be really good. She like got a bunch of brochures when I was in like my junior year of high school. My parents did not understand what I was doing. I just knew I wanted to be an artist and this is where I go to be the photographer. I did my own res uh, research. Um, I was interested in uh, art school. Somebody I knew said you might want to look into Art Center. I uh, looked up what uh, what schools my favorite uh, directors and producers went to. It was uh, 300, if you remember that one, uh, Zack Snyder. <laughs> yeah, um, so I, I remember I saw that and I was like, okay, whoever made that movie, I kind of want to, you know, go to that school. Walking to Art Center for the first time and seeing the gallery and seeing all the art that, and the work that was produced. The advertising students work and the photography students work and like the packaging design. The crazy automotive division that they have. Things that I didn't even realize were fields. That like, oh, someone has to learn how to do that. We was like, oh man, it's like, this is, this is it. This is what we came here for. That, that atmosphere of hard work that was permeating the hallways, I was also getting a little scared. I do remember driving up to Hillside for the first time, my jaw was on the floor. I, I just couldn't believe um, the gravity of the building, I think, was the first impression. Driving up this hill through this really fancy neighborhood, and I remember the air smelled like flowers. Just being up here was sort of a, this, like I said, a magical place, especially during the day. You could see the deer walking around. My first impression when I came to Art Center, truthfully, was where all the black people are. That was, that was my first impression. I grew up in uh, Compton, California, and I would go to school in Long Beach, so the schools that I would go to would be predominantly African American, um, so that's kind of like what I knew. So when I came here, uh, yeah, it was a culture shock for real. Yeah, and it was definitely unique. I definitely felt special. Out of 20 of us, there were three of us that were black, yeah or 2.5 if you, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I was the only black Native American woman in my department. And it was like, it was probably about six or seven of us, like sprinkled through everything. It was probably four or five. 
you know, and uh, me and my brother came in the audience too, you know, so we definitely stood out. There's one thing to be the only black kid in the room, but to be the only black kid in the building, to be the only black kid on that side of the bridge. So I was singularly focused <laughs> when I got here. I, was, I don't care what it is or what happens. I'm definitely gonna graduate from this way. Ooh, um, David Luz. Because he was really honest, he was super blunt. Like if he noticed that someone was like slacking or whatever, he'd be like, do you even wanna be here today? Cause you don't have to take up space in this room if you don't wanna be here, which I appreciated. I'm Paul Jasmine. He just uh, really opened my eyes and was just loved my work. One of the uh, few instructors that actually helped me go out and meet people in the, you know, in the industry that were working. Richard Keyes, just a brilliant man. He taught me the basics of story. I learned that I know nothing about story. Ron Osborne, he, he I like his style of teaching, right? Um, he doesn't hold anything back. Printmaking with Tony Cepeda at the South Campus. He was just like a really down to earth person. I honestly don't remember. I don't think I got any bad grades. Which grade F, Peace and Sitsi's black and white class. I deserve that F, I really did. Like, I deserve that F. Uh, I had a mental breakdown, took a term off, it helped me realize that, okay, A, I should pay attention. B, I should know what I'm going into. C, I should ask for help. I wasn't finishing assignments on time because I wanted to make sure they were at what I wanted to do. And I took hits for C's and D's and stuff like that. Like I drove all the way down to San Diego just to turn in an assignment I got a C on. But it was pure. Uh, I got a D. I was, on, I was on academic probation after my first semester. Oh yeah. I remember my finals week. I remember driving up to school. I remember crying on my way up to school. I remember seeing my department chair, and he suggested I take a term off and rethink about stuff. And most people, after the first semester, they're not gonna come back. Um, I decided to come back. What does it mean to be a black artist? Um, There's like, no right answer to that question. There's always this need to put people into categories. I hate that shit. I actually do not like the question about what it's like to be a black artist. I prefer just being a photographer. By saying you're a black designer, that's like, by nature you're being typecasted. But like, it is, it is, it is something like empowering to be like, yo, I'm black and I'm a designer. Um, and that's like rare. I'm definitely a black designer. I bring to everything that I do all that I am. I'm a black man. I think of it as like an opportunity to expand the identity of what we consider black. If you go to my website, it's black, 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 and I'm okay with that. Art Center has certainly allowed me to live my truth. Art Center definitely gave us the tools, the knowledge that we needed. The methodology of how you go about learning. All these steps along the way that the school instills in you, just by its system, um, are things that have always served me well. I give it credit very much for preparing me to be able to step into that, because I think it's a misconception that that's an easy thing to do. Everybody here knows how to be an Art Center student, and that's that drive and that uh, wanting to constantly be working on something, constantly moving and never standing still. Um, that's just us, and I love that. When things are, or systems are a certain way, and they've been established like that for a long time, it's hard to change things. Well, I think there's plenty of work to do. I really hope that the school gets more diverse. There's a lot of talented artists out there that need to understand and know that you know, there's a career in art and design. Even starting at the lowest grade possible, elementary, middle school, high school. I'm still like the only black woman in my department and I've been in this industry now for almost 10 years. I don't always want to be the only one in the room that's got like the, you know, diversity perspective. <laughs> I think that the caliber of the people within that group is amazing, stellar. Uh, it's an opportunity is what I would say. 
Everything that happens out in the world is designed by somebody. So why not by us?